Hey guys, I'm Gravity Sloth, and you're trapped in my orbit. Now, we're here with Undertale, but before we get started, I just want to ask you something for the comments below. If I was to do another ongoing series at the same time as Undertale, would you prefer that I play This is the Police or Oxenfree? Let me know in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you guys think. Alright, here we are in lovely Snowden, and if you remember, as I promised... We're going on a date with Papyrus. Oh, first, let me double check. I did a little futzing around before I... Yeah, okay. Just so you guys know, I put the snowman piece in the box and I bought some more bicycles in my own time. Didn't think you guys needed to see that. Because again, like I said, if you take the snowman piece to a faraway land, there's a special little Easter egg, so... Alright. Let's, let's go into this Goofy Bones' home. Oh god, I love that music. Another fun th fun fact about this game, uh, like, this music, uh, I, I don't know if it's called Sans's theme, but it, I, it's Sans's theme. And if you speed it up, they put, a, they put a, a special track on the soundtrack just to throw people off to make you think that you might fight Sans somewhere in the normal run of the game. And it's called Song That Might Play When You Fight Sans. And it's just this sped way up. Uh, there's a lot of little things like that. Uh, like, a lot of the songs in the game are just other songs in the game sped up or slowed down. It's kind of neat. So what do we got going on here? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles! Could be. In the kitchen. Oh, hey, hey, Papyrus. Eager to... That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it anytime! Thank you, Papyrus. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried... Baking something. It was like... A quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. A pie! How absurd! <clears throat> Sorry, my voice isn't really warmed up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into the papyrus as we go here. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Yeah. Let's see what's in the fridge. Aha! Interested in my food museum? That reminds me of, um, if you've seen Parks and Rec, um, Tom Haverford's character, when he, like, makes up names for food, he's like, I call chicken parmesan, chicky chicky parm parm. I call noodles, long ass rice. I call sandwiches, sammies. <laughs> yeah, like, and I call my fridge a food museum. <laughs> I could totally see Haverford saying that. Anyway, interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Guys, Sans isn't fat, he's just big boned. Alright, alright. Why the hell is the sink so tall? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones underneath it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <gasps> so good! It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. <clears throat> Sands, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? For 
get it! <gasps> oh, Sansy boy! Such good music. Uh, oh, it's my favorite game show. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Actually, in making uh, one of the previous episodes, I learned all about the, the stripes and tone. Because I had to look them up. If, if you remember, I used them in a little bit of a, a gag during the glide fight. Let's see what the hell's going on under here. There's some kind of weird light oozing. I, I don't know. The door is locked. And that's all I'm getting. A classic image. <clears throat> it always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Bones and boning, apparently, is what Papyrus is all about. And by boning, of course, I mean throwing bones at people to try to capture them. <laughs> welcome to my... To, welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound? You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch? You got 20... Again, guys, I'm finding new secrets that I didn't know about. Jeez. Wait, 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 wait. You can't just... What the f... You can't just take money that... Like, oh, well, it was in your couch. You weren't using it. No, that's not... That's, that's, that's theft. I don't condone that. Can I give him the money back? Of course I can't. Well, I know it's a video game and shit, but just like... Uh, it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's funny on a lot of levels. If you don't get that, don't worry. It's a bad science joke. If you do get it, though, cool. Also, stop. No. What's, what's all this? That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever it is people do when they date. Oh, you, you coy, coy skeleton. Go inside? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Sweet room, bro. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet, I'm quite popular there. Yes, you are, Papyrus. You are very popular on the internet. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Negative two? Oh, buddy. And I thought I had it rough with, like, what do I have, like, nine or ten subscribers? By the way, like, to my nine or ten subscribers, guys, like, you guys are amazing. You guys are, like, the core. You guys are going to be the core of what I hope eventually snowballs into a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, I'm not in it for the fame or anything. I just really want to share these games with people, you know? I know not everybody has access to the games in all parts of the world. You know, uh, uh, some people just want to see, you know, somebody play part of the game before they're sure that they want to buy it. I mean, Let's Plays are, are really cool. And then there are people who, like, just would never play a video game but might be interested to watch it. Like, they're... I used to be awful at video games, but I still wanted to see how Final Fantasy X ended. I just couldn't be... You know, it's not important. But what I'm saying is, I think Let's Plays serve an important purpose. So I really appreciate it that you guys, you know, are willing to subscribe and, like, tune into my videos. Thank you. Anyways, of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy front. Is it... Comic Sans, uh, both the font and the person sending them. Is it Sans, the jokester, buddy? Probably. 
There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. Look in the closet? Yeah, sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, Papyrus, you're a very orderly guy. I like that. I admire that. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Sweet. Isn't that flag neat? Oh, Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of the other way around. More like skeletons descend from humans. Well, no, because skeletons existed like bone structures. I, anyways, yeah, this has been evolutionary biology with gravity sloth. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's check out his sweet models. Ah, yes. Action figures! A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa? Yeah, that's right! Santa! Oh, Papyrus, I, I'm not sure. Are you a child? That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Oh, Papyrus, that's an awesome dream to have. Wind in my, wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Oh, Papyrus, hey, live your dream, buddy. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Hell yeah, Papyrus. All right, I think that's everything. So let's uh, st let's start our date in earnest with Papyrus. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes, no. Okay, dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your state on your keyboard for dating HUD. We have the day of the week, a radar screen with the location of the dog, a crime meter that's showing an awful lot of crime for what seems like a peaceful city, the reel it in meter, and population and an egg. Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we are ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second... Wear clothing... That bandana around your head... Remember guys, I have the manly bandana on? It's kind of a neat little feature. It knows what I'm wearing. You're wearing clothing right now! I mean, guys... All you can see is my upper body. For all you know, that's all I'm wearing is a shirt. But yes, Papyrus, I am wearing clothing right now. Don't worry, I have pants on. <laughs> but you don't have to on YouTube, that's the great thing. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. 
No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? It's true, Papyrus. I can't lie. I think this is like kind of a, a, a reference to the, the trope of like dating simulator games. Oh no! Papyrus! No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! Papyrus, I know some people who would disagree. No! Your dating power! It's over 9,000! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! Tension, ooh! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. That's not a bad method. Behold! <gasps> cool Dude 9000! Cool Dude 9000 Papyrus. Oh my god, I fucking love it. It's got like Mickey Mouse pants, uh, uh, chucks and like calf socks, uh, and basketballs on his shoulders, a backwards baseball cap, and a cool dude t-shirt. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I fucking love it, Papyrus. No, a genuine compliment. Gate power increased. However. You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. There's no secret to my legs. No, I was clicking on your... Yeah, okay, sure, your legs. <clears throat> Just hard work and perseverance. What about your shoes? Those are nice kicks. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <laughs> Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. What did it say, double O dude? I don't know. Anyway. What about your goofy face? Oh yeah, okay, your hat, sure. My hat. My hat. My hat! <laughs> Whoop. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Open it. <gasps> Spaghetti! Of course! And do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Of course. Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any old plain, any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask! I hope he's saying silken as like he's describing the texture and it's not actually made of silken. I would not. In an oaken ca oh buddy. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Literally, literally the feelings of a chef, guys. I made food for you, and you enjoyed it. That means we're friends. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! It's off the charts. 
Hero man! <clears throat> oh, geez, sound like fucking Gollum or Stitch for a second there. Hero man! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot! Human, I... I'm sorry! I don't like you the way you like me. <gasps> Papyrus, no, bro! Romantically, I mean. Papyrus, no, buddy. You're gonna break my heart? Aww. Oh. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. <clears throat> But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times! One moment, guys. Sorry, this might be important. Human, I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this never happened! After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> ring, ring. Wow, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus's Hotful Helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room? Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. I've never s What? What? Where's the diagram? Oh, okay, that was just dialogue. Okay. No, they're just chiding me. Alright, so now, guys, we can call Papyrus whenever we want and just, like, chat with him. That's pretty neat. Let's pop over here and save right quick. Oh, why'd I do that? There's probably a save point right at the next area. Sorry, guys. You know, that, that is one consequence of, of getting, you know, more unedited game gameplay is you're, you're going to see me make some dumb mistakes. Oh, jeez, what? Oh, yeah, you walk through the ice. I forgot about that. Boom. Here we are in scenic waterfall, I think. This waterfall, right? <laughs> Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> don't worry, kid, I won't. This is an echo flower. 
It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. I'm gonna reset that real quick and see what it would have said. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. He said that to himself! Oh, buddy. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing I saved. I think I might have just triggered an event that I didn't want to trigger yet. What? No, wait, no. <clears throat> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Shit. I might have to reload, because I don't have time to do the... I'm busy. Okay, have fun. So can I redo this? What? Haven't you seen... Yeah, okay. Okay, right, cool. So I can go back and do that. Alright. So, after going on a date with Papyrus, we're gonna go on, uh... Well, not really a date, but we're gonna go out to, out to get a bite or a drink at Grillby's with Sands. That's gonna be fun. But I'm gonna keep this episode pretty short because I've actually got some cool stuff that I'm gonna be working on for you guys today with my buddy, Steven Lazarkis. We're working on making like a little theme song and an intro. It's it's gonna be cool, you know? Uh, so, hopefully that'll be something that you guys like. Anyways, this has been, uh, geez, what, part five? Yeah, part five of Undertale. I'm Gravity Sloth. Remember to like, comment, and if you wanna stay in the orbit, subscribe. Remember to have a happy holiday tomorrow, and stay safe, and also, keep it groovy, and have a nice day.